Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy. And since I was banned for uh, a day uh, just recently, uh, this past uh, Sunday for an unearthed film, uh, and then a uh, day later after jumping out of the, a ban and jumping into another one, from a film from Brando Pictures called Castle of Horror. Um, the same day that I got banned for three days for Castle of Horror uh, came Stephen Byros, American Guinea Pig, The Song of Solomon, which was filmed in 2017. And it came with... Signed a, a two disc with stickers for Song of Solomon and Sacrament, which I did not pick up at the time that it was um, that they were selling that one, which is directed by Poison Rouge. But um, came with this cool poster signed by the director, I believe, and uh, some of the cast members involved in the. Uh, project definitely cool um, so I thought I'd share some of that with the viewers out there and uh, I believe I have a smaller poster of um, sacrifice which I'm hoping to get a copy of uh, if, if I can to complete uh, uh, somewhat complete my AGP um, film series um so the film is directed by stephen byro um who runs unearthed films he ran a video store for many years and uh he met the special effects uh, uh, guy behind um behind AGP Bloodshock um, just recently, uh, Marcus Koch, over 20 years ago. Um, evidently, he came in and uh, told uh, Stephen Byro, who was the manager of this video store at the time, uh, Marcus Koch had actually told him that, uh, that uh, he was the director of Rot and... <laughs> He had evidently to, uh, told them, oh, I know that uh, film. It wasn't that good. <laughs> but um, it's kind of funny how the two later have gotten together uh, for some of these project, uh, projects that are continuing the line of these snuff films that were made in Japan um, called Guinea Pig. And each of them are their own animal. This film has to do with exorcism or an exorcism and it has to do with a failed exorcism but there are some religious um some religious aspects to the film and there are uh, there are some anti-religious aspects to the film um where we have Jessica Cameron, uh, uh, Cameron who pl uh, plays Mary, who is evidently a young girl who has been possessed by a demon. We know not the name of or, or why. And um, from what I understand, um, in the very beginning of the fil uh, film, she watches as her father um, kills her, uh, himself in front of her while saying the uh, Lord's Prayer and then pulling out his tongue in, in uh, through his neck and just kind of laying there on the floor. Well, ultimately, the mother, um, Susan, uh, calls in a doctor, uh, uh, a family, family therapist, and uh, I think my, my favorite... Uh, my favorite part of this film is the, uh, this this part where um, evidently it's this family therapist that uh, that comes in and starts to talk to Mary and um, 
he's starting to t ask her questions about you know her problems and uh all of a sudden her eyes start uh, start having this glow and uh she starts talking about fire and uh, it, it just scares the shit out of this uh um therapist and he's like uh, i'm not qualified for this jo uh, job so that's what uh, when he uh, uh, gives uh, the mother the ca uh, car quickly runs out of the house and uh it's basically the doctor uh, uh, dr richardson who was played by scott allen warner um and um what he ultimately does is he calls in and I think the uh, the Catholic Church gets called in, in on this uh, exorcism to do. So we have two fathers who co uh, come to the uh, room, and they both um, start a ritual. And because of how powerful this demon is, inside of Mary, who was played by Jessica Cameron. Um, she overpowers these uh, first two priests and ultimately, eventually, there are more priests. In fact, four priests who end up showing up at the cabin or house or whatever. And I, I just want to say, I, I love the inside look and the outside look of this house that uh, that the exorcism uh, is held in, uh, because it's it's a place with a deck and, and it's all wood and uh, you go up these stairs and it's definitely a nicer looking pla uh, place. So ultimately, There are some scenes where, uh, where um, with either Father Lawson or or, or Father uh, um, or Father Corbin or Father Blake, uh, whichever of the uh, the one uh, ones who was um, who was performing the first extra, uh, uh, the first ritual. There's a scene where he is told to wear the sins on the outside of his um uh his body so he takes his he pulls out his eyes and he's screaming and his face is melting and then there's another scene is a scene uh w which is fairly interesting where evidently she pukes out her entire insides and she pulls out like her large intestines and all that jazz and she basically uh, uh, says it all has to go back in again so, uh, so you you see her put the stuff back in um, slowly but surely and I have to say watching the, uh, 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 this is definitely a little bit of uh, amusing. I mean, you, uh, you, you got these poor priests who can't really do uh, uh, do anything, and then ultimately, the film does not have a happy ending. Um, so I, I like that it it doesn't leave you satisfied. The film, um, but I I do believe that Marcus Cock delivered on his gore. Uh, aspect of the film it, it's different having a a full-on gore exorcism th uh, than it is uh, having a, a having a halfway to gore uh, with special effects like in the original exorcist uh, assist, we, uh, we, uh, her, her head spins around and she pukes on the floor and the, uh, those things are things that uh, have never been seen before. And of course, in the long extended cut, you see her walk down the stairs backwards. Um, so that is uh, uh, something that I remember. And there are definitely some rememberable moments in this film. Um, this was a passion project for Stephen Byro. 
Um, it was definitely di a, a, a different knowing that Jess Jessica Cameron is in fact a blonde, but she is a dark brown, dirty brown uh, hair, a, a haired woman in here. And uh, I thought the effects were pr a, a, a pr a pretty cool in here. Um, so I was, at first I wasn't sure, but I was impressed with this film. And uh, I, I, they say that all the uh, American guinea pigs that have been done by Unearthed Films after the guinea pig series um, are actually different from each other. And uh, though I haven't covered them on this channel, I would like to go back and do that so that uh, so that um, I can understand if there's any kind of connection between this one and the previous two. Uh, I don't think so, but um, if you are a fan of gore and if you are a fan of exorcist movies then this is the film for you it's definitely over the top in some places so that is something that you have to bear in mind but it is definitely a horror film that you should uh, definitely keep a lookout for it is now one of my favorite Exorcist uh, 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 films, and I would put it up there uh, uh, really high. So if this is a film that you so uh, sounds like you would definitely watch, uh, watch it and uh, view it, then you should check it out when, uh, uh, if and when you get a chance, if you did not get a chance to uh, uh, be part of the campaign. Um, then it will have a street date and be ready for the public uh, fairly soon. If I um, remember correctly, it's it's up for pre-order on the uh, Unearthed Films website. Um, so, yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my description of the um, a, a film. I loved the fact that um, there was some biblical references like uh, uh, like when he was provided with the um with the antioch Bi uh, 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 Bi uh, bible where there were three golden bibles uh, 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 at one point in time i, I love the reference to uh the trinity um here so the, uh, i can tell that um stephen byro definitely did his research and knew uh, knew a lot about exorcist type situations um so in any case definitely check out this review check out my other uh reviews on other f uh, films i love talking about the uh, the hardest fil uh, films that are uh, are out there to talk about and uh um i would say that this was on definitely more of the extreme it didn't really I mean, it didn't really scare me. Uh, scare me, but it put, uh, uh, but it made me turn my head away at, at certain points, and that uh, that's what counts. I mean, I'm pretty much desensitized by uh, uh, by most horror films. Most of them I can just laugh at, but um, this one definitely had a a, a serious nature to it, and uh, I think this will be one of my favorite releases uh, of this year. In any case, um, definitely check out my other reviews. Let me know down in the comments below if you have uh, uh, seen this film or if you're looking forward for this title. And uh, let, me, let me know your thoughts. And thanks for listening.